Hey guys, so today I want to sit down and do my March favourites video and firstly a little bit of an apology it's a bit later than normal. Um, normally I, I upload these right at the end of the month, but um, I was away in New York over the end of the month and I didn't get the chance to film it before I left. So it's a few days late. I hope you still enjoy it anyway. Um, as you guys know with these videos, I talk about products that I've been loving this month. And this month I've got quite a few new releases, but also two rediscoveries that are old like golden oldies and I feel sad that I ever stopped using them because they're amazing um so I'm going to start off with um one of the most special products um this month which is my Jo Malone solid perfume compact um and this is just like a lifetime favorite as well because if you guys don't already know I actually did a collaboration with Jo Malone this month and released my very own solid perfume compact and this is an absolute dream come true for me because Jo Malone are one of my favorite brands probably my most favorite fragrance and home fragrancing brand but also a brand that I just absolutely adore and I've used them for years and years and years so to collaborate with them and make my own little product um was just amazing so um thank you guys for making that possible because as always with anything like this it's all because of you watching and liking and commenting and following along so thank you um, and thank you to everybody who came to the um, launch of this in Birmingham it was so fun um, but this as a favorite so I have also been using the product like every single day this month because it is so good if you guys haven't seen the Jo Malone um, solid perfumes already they came out at the beginning of the year and while they do seem initially expensive it's actually like a refill situation so um to buy the compact and two fragrances is 52 pounds which seems pricey but actually compared to buying joe malone um actual liquid fragrance liquid fragrance like cologne just normal cologne um liquid fragrance sounds weird um it's actually a bit cheaper but 52 pounds because the compact is so small seems a lot however um, once you have got the compact you can refill the fragrance refills with any fragrance that you want and these are only 14 pounds so it seems more expensive when you first get it but actually in terms of like longevity um, you can refill it anytime you want and you can also mix and match the fragrances as well so you can have more fragrances at home swap them out my compact is my two favorite fragrances or two of my favorite fragrances there are so many that i love from joe malone um wood sage and sea salt which is like an all-time fave absolutely love it and english pear and freesia which is also another one that i absolutely adore um both of them work really well together as like combined because joe malone's all about fragrance combining but they also are just stunning separately and i just think both of them are very very unique instantly recognizable Jo Malone fragrances to me I think so yeah that's my little compact that's my little collaboration with Jo Malone I think there are a few of these left um on the Jo Malone website um I know they sold out on Selfridges pretty much straight away but there are a few left I think on the Jo Malone website if you want one still if not you can buy them and you can make your own um combination um and yes i've been using this every single day and i love it so on to another favorite this month this is a brush that i have had my eye on for ages and i don't know why i never bit the bullet and bought it but i actually got given this when i went to dubai with nars and it's the nars i want to call it a kabuki brush but i don't know the official name i'll put a link in the um info section below but like i said i had admired this from afar for ages but it's 40 I think it's 45 pounds in the UK and I was like oh it's expensive I don't need it it looks really good but I don't need it I actually got given it as a gift when I went to Dubai like I said and ever since I've used this every single day it's freaking amazing it's one of the best brushes I've ever used um it just has this flexibility I feel like it's a it looks like a traditional Japanese brush. I don't know uh, like about the history of this brush, but it is so beautifully crafted. The flexibility in the handle just allows you such ease of application. It's so easy. The shape is perfect for blush, bronzer, powder. It's just a stunning brush and I've used it, like I said, every single time. I have done my makeup um, since I got it because it is that wonderful and I would 100% recommend this. If you're looking for a new makeup brush um, for any kind of like face powder 
it's amazing. And then another thing that I have completely fallen in love with this month, but I've had this for a bit longer than this month, I think I've had it for two months, is the Hourglass Liquid Eyeliner. I go through phases with my liquid eyeliner and I go through like, like months of wearing it every single day and then I won't wear it for two months and then I'll wear it every single day. Um, I'm in a wearing it all the time phase at the moment and I'm loving it. Um, and the Hourglass one, I know it should be good because Hourglass is so expensive, but this is so brilliant. It lasts so well. It's so black. It's so easy to apply. It's got the perfect sized um, felt tip. And as you guys can see, it's like a just a very true black, inky black texture. And it has that really nice finish that's not too glossy, but it's also not completely matte either. So I'm um, a big, big fan of that. And then another new release... And this is kind of a spoiler because these are going to be in my new in April video, which is going up just after this video. Um, but I have been using this for the past couple of weeks and I really like it. It's the new Charlotte Tilbury vinyl lip, um, like the super, super pigmented lip gloss. And this is in Video Vixen. The texture of these is so nice. It's meant to be like that vinyl, super, super shiny, but really pigmented. It's really comfortable to wear. It's not overly sticky, but it stays on. The staying power is really nice, and I love this colour. As you may be able to tell by my nails and my lips, I'm having a bit of a kind of plum, burgundy kind of revival at the moment. Sometimes I go so nude and so not into anything like dark or deep, but I've been wearing a plum lip loads. It's kind of like my go-to if I have a special occasion. This is actually not what I'm wearing today. This is a mixture of three different colors. Um, if you're wondering, I always get questions if I wear a bold lip about what it is. Sadly, you can't buy it because it's like, I think it's um, a new one from Clarins mixed with two of the new Givenchy ones, which incidentally will all be in my new in April video which will go up after this video along with more info on these these are really good and then the last two favorites are rediscoveries of things that I have loved so much in the past um firstly is the Essie Bahama Mama Bahama I feel like you can't say it properly with an English accent but Bahama Mama nail polish I dig this out every single year, um, usually around autumn, but this time it's like end of winter. I'm, I'm just loving it. Such a good texture, such a good finish, such a good color. Um, I always, always get comments on this. I've worn this maybe three times this month, as in like painted my nails with it, waited five days, taken it off and painted it again with the same color. I love it so much. It's just a really good staple color. And if you're looking for like a deeper, darker um, nail polish that's not, really gothy like like black kind of or that kind of like really dark kind of really dark red this is a really nice option because it's still got that tone to it that's a little bit lighter than that um and it's also a really just a good formula in terms of chipping and application and finish and everything as well and then the other rediscovery this month is my unite seven seconds detangler leave-in conditioner i spoke about this non-stop for like maybe four years on youtube it's so good i repurchased this again when i recently went into a salon to get my hair done and um they were selling it again i was like oh I'll grab a bottle and i just had forgotten how much i love it it's so brilliant if you have knotty hair if you have frizzy hair if you have dry hair um it's basically the most amazing leave-in conditioner um I absolutely love it and it makes my hair look all nice and shiny and new again. Um, a big, big fan. So that is it for my March favourites. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you've had a fantastic March. April is finally here. Spring is coming. I'm excited. Um, I'll see you guys again very soon. And if you're not already subscribed, please click that button. Um, it means the absolute world to me when you guys subscribe. And sorry I'm a bit croaky today. I'm fending off the lurgy. River has had cold after cold after cold since starting nursery and i feel like it's finally starting to pass on to me um fingers crossed because i don't feel ill i just sound ill um anyway hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you soon bye